Good morning to you, Matt. Three weeks after Trayvon Martin's death, local police have released the 911 calls from neighbors and from the shooter himself. Calls that some might find disturbing and calls that may hold the answers to a crucial question in this case. Did George Zimmerman in fact fire in self-defense or was it something else? In newly released 911 tapes, you hear the panic from a neighbor just moments after the shooting last month. 17-year-old Trayvon Martin was visiting family in this upscale gated community near Orlando. George Zimmerman, a neighborhood watch volunteer, called 911 saying the teenager looked suspicious. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. Zimmerman told the operator Martin was wearing a hoodie and approaching him slowly. He's got his hand in his waistband. Yeah, he's a black male. Something's wrong with him. He's coming to check me out. The operator told Zimmerman to stay put. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. But Zimmerman ignored the operator. Soon, the two were engaged in some sort of altercation. Several neighbors called 911. They're wrestling right in the back of my porch. The guy's yelling help, and I'm not going outside. In the background, a voice is heard crying for help. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. All right, what is your on number? There's gunshots. There's someone screaming. I just heard gunshots. There's a black guy down. It looks like he's been shot and he's dead. Trayvon was dead, found lying face down, unarmed, carrying a bag of Skittles and a can of iced tea. Zimmerman, who holds a concealed weapons permit, was questioned but not arrested. He told police it was him crying for help and that he shot Martin in self-defense. But in an interview on Today over the weekend, Martin's mother said the voice on the call was clearly Trayvon's. That was my baby and he was pleading for his life and I just don't understand how that how that self-defense. Um, you can clearly hear him yelling for help. The family believes Trayvon was targeted because of his race but in a letter to a local paper Zimmerman's father said his son would never discriminate. We shall Community leaders are outraged, holding rallies, demanding an arrest. We need answers and we need justice. We not only not only are we looking for an arrest, we're looking for a conviction. Now Martin's family is calling on federal authorities to investigate. Stanford police say they have no evidence to charge Zimmerman with a crime. They've turned the case over to the state attorney's office.